Hello everybody and welcome to Monster Hunter Cross. Flick here and this is the first part of a general playthrough. We'll be doing online, we'll be doing offline, we'll be doing everything like I've done for 4U and 3U. It just unlocked a few seconds ago. So, new game options, continue, download, new game. There we go. And I don't really care what I look like. Well, mail, let's see, voice, that might matter. Let's go for... where's the sample? Nope, that's reset. Sample is Y. That, that'll do. Uh, where's the costume button? There's the costume button. Meh. 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 One day I might be doing naked quests, so these matter. What is that? That's like Lederhosen. In fact, that is Lederhosen. Right, type 6. That'll do. Can I change the colour of it? I can. Red will do. That's the one I've used for the last two games, actually. There we are. That'll do. Is this the name section? Please don't do anything rude, etc. Yes, whatever. Oops, not in capitals. There we are. Good. So now I believe we get to pick a... Well, you'll have to take my word for it because it's on the bottom screen. You have to pick a starting skill. Uh, I don't know what these say. Actually, these could be styles. Oh, so you might hear my Skype and Steam going off quite a bit. It's because a bunch of people I know also just got the game unlocked. So they're all hyping the hell out right now. Let me just bring up my... I've got a little notepad with some translations on it for my own benefit. Are these the styles? Yes, they are. So it's asking me what style I want to start with. Guild is the first one, then it goes Striker, Aerial, Bushido. I'll go with just Guild for now. So we'll pick Guild, and then we get to pick our two starting skills. It would normally be one starting skill, but I pick Guild still, so we get two. So I'll just pick that one, and I believe this next one is Perfect Evade. We'll pick that, and we'll go with that. And now I have to choose my layout. So. Ah, I see. So on the bottom screen it's telling me do I want the map on the big screen or do I want it on the lower screen? If I have it on the lower screen it's like how the demo was set up so you have three potential buttons for your specials. Or you can do it so the map's on the screen and then that gives you the analog, uh, sorry the, you know, the, the camera steering thing on the lower screen. I'm going to go with the way the demo was because I found it manageable. So we'll go with that, so that's type A and then we'll save right there and that's how we're starting. Here we go. I assume there'll be some kind of intro. And this first video is just going to be the first couple of tutorial hunts. Which will probably be what? Like herb gathering and blue mushrooms. That's probably what it's going to be. We'll have a little look around the map, see if anything's different from the demo. But then after this first part, I'll do all non-fighting hunts off camera and I'll do my gathering off camera. So after this part, it will just be fights. Well, hunts involving fights. Small monsters, big monsters, etc. So things don't stay too boring. Also, let me just make sure Thaxar's not asking for any translation help. Good job, you can't see this. The voices on the second page are hilarious, 17 to 20. Yeah, while well, you mess around with your hair and your voice, I'm playing. I do know that one of the female voices is probably going to get you banned on YouTube if you use it, because it sounds like someone orgasming when you get hit. So I would avoid that. But... I don't know enough Japanese to come close to translating anything, so also if you're looking for a story translation, this is definitely not the place to come for it. I'll be skipping through all the dialogue and concentrating on just fighting. So on the lower screen, we've got shortcuts to places and it has speech bubbles where we want to talk to people. So he was directing us to our house, I believe, but uh, you're going to do like street pass stuff again. Yes, you are. I don't really want to do that because I don't have anybody I can street pass because I live in the back end of nowhere. Yeah, I, I don't want to do the... No, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, no, no. Nope. Thank you. Nope. Good. Let's just go in the house. I want to change weapon. I don't want to just have sword and shield. Hello, house cat. Yes, that's, that's very intriguing. Yes. Oh, look. I've got a, a stick on my, my belt there. So what services do you offer? That is the intro movie. Alright, so that's just watch movies, that first option that you've already seen before. Hey, look at that, I've got a walking stick. So, chest options. Now, usually they're in the same place, but because there might be new ones for changing your style and whatnot, 
this will probably need to be something I just look at off camera to tr uh, learn the new layouts. That's storage, that's my current items. What is that? Is that sets, is it? Hmm. Oh, thanks for saying he likes the start starter and leader hosen. Ah, this is combining. Got it. Oh, this is where you can change your clothing type. Alright, so this is your armor sets. This is change your gear. Perfect. So I'm going to go with Gunlance. And that reminds me, by the way, the thumbnail art for this series was done by Grinning L. He did the same for my 4U eventually. And it is awesome. So by all means, send him all the kudos for his great artwork. He did my character wearing the Dino Valdo set and the Dino Valdo Gunlance. Alright, so this is change gear. This will be what item sets potentially. What's this last button? Ah, this last button is the new one. So that is guild style. That is Striker, Aerial, Bushido. And then I guess, do you press on one to change the skills? There we go. Right, so that's how it works. Now I just need to find a translation list. Now why is it only saying I have one equipped? So these are three separate ri lists, right? Hmm. No, those have style names. Alright, we'll leave, we'll leave things as is. Oh, you know why it took one away? Because the first skill I picked was a Sword and Shield one. And I switched to Gunland, so that's why slot one is empty now. So can I put anything in it? Yes, I can. I'm sure that says the style name, though. Ah, maybe it doesn't. So I don't know what that third skill is. That could be Perfect Evade, and that could be something else. We'll, we'll test it in a hunt. Alright, I've got the weapon I want to use. It actually looks pretty decent for a starter weapon. Well, apart from the Broken Shield. But alright. And I assume we don't have my cat yet. Are you the guild marm of this game? I can't see you because my gun lance is in the way. It looks like your assistant just phased into existence up there. It's a nice view. Alright, there's still people to talk to. I want to press one of these buttons to see what happens. Uh, they are just teleports, okay. One of them looks like a smurf. Ah, right, red speech bubble means progress, yellow means fluff. So let's just get these out of the way. Hello, cat wearing a wig. So this is the chef of this game. And you do stuff with like the fondue over there. Thank you for whatever it is you just gave me. Yeah. Oh. Sure, I'll eat food. I don't know what it's given me, but I'll eat it. Or whatever I just did. I'll need to look into what that was. Oh, it's the instructor. Or maybe his protege. He didn't have the same voice. I didn't just say yes to tell me how to play the game, did I? I know what I'm doing, kind of. What do we have here? Oh, this is Styles again. Alright. So you can talk to him as well. Fair enough. Maybe you can get the chance to test stuff in the field. Uh, before going out into the field, rather. You're the blacksmith of the game. I like your hat. I also believe that the upgrading levels of weapons thing has come back from Portable 3rd, so I'd like to have a look at that, actually. Level 3, level 4, level 5. Yeah, it is. Okay. Interesting. Doesn't list material. Oh, no, it does. Is that materials at the bottom there or not? Hmm. Strange. Alright, well, we'll look into that more once I actually have some materials. Alright, let's talk to... wannabe Scottish slash Belgian guy. Ah, you're the guild marm. Go on hunt, do many things. Have some money. I'm not your whore. Alright, let's get this quest list up. You talk as much as the guildmarm does. Quickly now. I must say that at least for you or for as well. It opened up a bit more dramatically having to fight Daddy Moran in the buff. Granted you were invincible, but still it was a fun way to give you a tutorial. Alright, one star and uh, this will be event ones I guess down there, so let's check what this is. That'll be eight herbs. Three... What's the first mining thing you usually have to get? It's not coal. Well, whatever it is. 
Uh, some bugs. Bones. And that's killed 10 of the, the mini Great Makus. Alright, well, we'll do this very first one, just to run around and gather some stuff, and then I'll do this fighting one, and that will be the entirety of this video. And then I'll do those other gathering ones off camera. Yes, we'll take that quest. Off we go. No, I think it said I leave via here, right? Yeah, here we go. It's not an important first hunt, but that doesn't matter. So as I always say when I start a new series, please, please, please show your support. If only on this part, if you can't be bothered doing it normally. Just to let me know that you're supporting this series and want to see more. Leave a like, leave a comment. Be supportive as we kind of struggle through the language barrier as well. Like, for example, we now have to work out which herb it is I need to find. But we can do that by checking the quest list, which is that button. So we're looking for that kanji. I will try and remember. I don't have a cat yet. Thanks was just pointing out as well that the B type camera does indeed give you the uh, the movement controls on the touch screen, but it only gives you space for one special. So what happens if you're using Gilder Striker style? That's my question, which I will ask or pose to him once I've finished this video. Actually, I better tell him I'm recording, because otherwise he'll think I'm being rude. So, bear with me. Stare at that beautiful waterfall for one second. Also recording, so can't reply for a bit. There we go. Ah, back to yellow sharpness. That is not them. That was three berries of some kind. Paint berries. That was also not them. Well, we're looking for herb gather spots, so flowers and what have you. We know from the demo these things are not aggressive. That one looks like it's taking a dump. Don't mind me. Uh, that's not the one either. No, that's not what we're gathering from then. Try this one. Nope, that's not it either. Nope. Alright, so it's not the pink flowers. Is that another type of... oh wait, hang on, it could be here. No. It's the first time I've really had a proper look around this map, because usually I was just focusing on the fight in the demo. It's probably just going to give me the same things from here, so we'll probably need to go into the forest sections. Yeah, that's not it. Alright, let's go into the forest. Deeper in. Also, I really should use the free rations I got given. I need to get back into the habit. There we go. Now I can run for longer than five seconds. Nothing here. Is that the same type of plant? I think it is. Don't mind me, your time will come. I'm not seeing anything else to gather from here, so let's head into the jungly bits. Ah, it could be the mushroom gather point, actually. Or the blue flower they're heading towards. Actually, it just occurred to me what else it could be. It only wants me to bring... Oh, there is a sub-quest as well. That's the thing. It is blue mushrooms, right? Yeah, it's blue mushrooms. Or whatever it is I'm currently getting from this mound here, which I assume is mushrooms sometimes, or special mushrooms. It's those. Oh, wait, no, it's not those. It's those. It's special mushrooms, rare two account items. So I got really unlucky with only getting one there, but whatever. At least I know what I'm gathering now. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting you can hold the button down now as well. So let's do that. 
Alright, we've got another one there. And another. Three down. Four down, halfway there. And that gather point is gone. Fair enough. So, you know, while I'm here and, you know, they have gorged themselves, I can't resist. Shinies. All the shinies, they're all mine. Can I gather multiple shinies if I hold the button down? Oh, you totally can as long as they're close enough and they actually drop what I needed as well, so that's perfect. Is that eight? Do I have eight? Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Or were they giving me something slightly... No, they were giving me something with a th uh, similar... That Those symbols at the end just mean mushroom, don't they? Uh, let me see... So, oh, I was looking at the sub-quest as well. So the main quest is that symbol. Ugh. Alright, where have I been getting those from? Have I got those? Yes, I do. It's a count item, whatever those were. Well, on the plus side, I can do the sub-quest first. Yeah, that's the ones. Alright, it was. My first inkling was correct. But if you want to do the sub... I showed you how to do that as well. So, do I need ten of this main one? No, it is eight. I have six. Right, almost there. The language barrier woes will not matter as much when all the hunt involves is smacking a monster in the face. That's important to remember. Gather points, gather points. Oh, well, this is where you have to come for the bone one, for sure. Other than that, though, um, I don't see any of the... Oh, wait, there we are. Keep away. That's one. And that's it, I think. But I might as well get one more for good measure, because if it is just herbs, well, you just had to spoil the fun, didn't you? You aren't even the one that did it. I'm just I just kinda wanna know which specials I have equipped. Oh, you're too short. Alright, we have both our specials, so they charge super quick, which probably means they're not any of the aggressive ones. Alright, let's test. Did I kill them? Might as well go for the gather. Alright, so my number one special is the Super Evade. Got it. My number two is the Speed Buff. I've got a light like, running man symbol next to my name. Maybe it's giving me a Vade Extender? Mm, no. Alright, I don't know what that one's done other than giving me a buff of some kind. Oh, maybe it's an egg carrying one or something, who knows? Anyway, we're done with this quest, so quickest way back is this way. Also, that buff I gave myself, whatever it is, it's about to wear off this second. Yeah, we're off. Ooh, shiny. Alright, go north to area 2, and then we're done. Alright, we'll fit in the, the kill, the mini Maku. Maku. The mini Great Jaggy wannabes. And then I'll do the rest of the uh, tutorial hunts off camera. This way. Why do I keep on hearing cats when I don't have cats with me as well? Did we get enough for the sub? No, we have one. Never mind then. Ah, this is the cat from Portable Third as well. I never did know what that was for. Was that for buying extra stuff or was that for sending extra stuff away? No, either way. So begins our Monster Hunter cross career. Let's do it. Meanwhile, Thaxxer are still pondering over whether or not to take the Lederhosen outfit. Can 
And we'll probably get a bunch of herbs for doing that one. Yes, and some honey as well. Go to box. All to box. Hey, that went by super quick. And yes, we will save. Thank you. Oh, there's Fanny. The replacement for Poogie. Well, we might have someone to talk to just to say, Hey, you did your first hunt. Well done, etc. I'm watching you. Uh, there's not a red marker here. There is a yellow one, though. Uh, that's the kind of information I bet I wish I could have read. Right, he doesn't actually let me seem to change it. I think he's just like offering me the chance to tell me about it. Ah, so yes, indeed, yeah, hmm, yeah, hmm. Still a yellow marker here somewhere. Down here, over here. It's actually, not that big a village. Oh, hello, Fanny. There you are, right there. Oh, I stopped a little bit too soon. That's fine. Oh, in my house, maybe. Maybe my cat's turned up. No. Can I just assign a cat? Nope, not available yet. Fair enough. What I could do, though, is change that second ability. To that one, and we'll see what that is. All right. Well, we don't need to go finding, find who I'm talking to. Is this another village? Actually, let's press that button. Uh, sure. I'm, I'm pressing things. Oh, that's the online lobby. Never mind. Hmm. All right. I'm not around with that off camera. One star. Oh, a new one's appeared. Ah! Gee, I wonder if that's the blue mushroom one. I want to fight something, though. And let's try the cooking thing again. Where is it? Oh, here you are. Sure, let's mix... Yes, and... Yes? I don't know what I'm doing. I ordered kebabs, apparently. Ugh. You shouldn't eat that much cheese in one go, man. Alright, I think I'll definitely need advice on what's the best way to just use the food in such a way that you'll get what you want. For me, defense up, usually, but I would accept attack up. Alright, so we've got to kill ten of the, the mini Great Makus. And then that's it. And the bits we'll get from them will probably be partially used to make his set, so worth aiming for. Well, that's the thing, I'm, I'm interested in what this set has started with, but there's no way of knowing really, is there? Where am I looking? I'm looking for... there we are. Well, obviously people who can translate. It's got one skill on it. Anyone know what skill that is? Please send help. Also, I should have stored some more junk from my inventory, but never mind. Alright, let's find them. This will be harder than fighting a big monster because I can't lock onto them, but it's only ten of them. I will fight these as well. In the demo they did nothing, but I imagine the, def the, the damage will be different here. Oh, there's tons of them. One, two, three, four, five. Line up, please. You're taking too long to attack! Attack faster! <laughs> yeah, like that. I want that carved, though. It's also very possible a Great Maki will turn up on this quest. I'm not going to fight it. If it does. It's a bit of FPS lag there. I'm surprised, considering I also have this digitally. How fast are the bodies disappearing, actually? It seemed to linger a reasonable amount of time. 
Ah, I think it just worked out. Unless my food gave me divine protection, I'm pretty sure the armor skill is divine protection. Oh, look at those uh, creatures in the distance there. They're slightly higher detail than the pink flamingos on Primal Forest. I need to sharpen. Oh, you're not dead, eh? Five left to go. If I was a great Maku, I'd be pissed and about to show myself. Killing all your babies, future generations, etc. Oh, there's b uh, bones in the middle of here as well. So for the bone one, I suggest going here and that place in the forest I found. Alright, I will resist the urge to gather from literally everything. I'll do that off camera. Let's just find the kills and get them over with. Also, I'm not getting to keep these anyway, so why not? Oh, we have our other special ready as well. I don't think it'll be an attack one, but I'll wait until I'm surrounded just in case. And take this! Oh, I'm entirely incorrect! Alright, I need to find out what button you press though to do the overhead slam at the end of it. But nice. Oh, I used up my ammunition as well. Oh, maybe it didn't do it because I had no ammunition. Did I forget to reload? But nice, I found the, the Gunland specific one that wasn't in the demo where you go flying forwards. And it looks awesome. Burr, burr, carve! Banabra, I mean, whatever. So that's three more to go. Hey, that corpse is still there. Not too shabby. Also, I've almost got that special back already. That seems very, very quick. Well, unless I did eat for Divine Protection and the skill on the armor is giving me specials quicker. That's what it could be. Uh, let's see, there should be some... Where else did we see them? We saw them in the cave for sure. What about through here? Yeah, there's some here. Right, well, it's going to be very difficult to hit one of these gits with that attack, but I shall certainly endeavor to try. As I mess with both a normal hit and a shot. I don't want to use the ammo because I want it for the special that I'm about to get. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's how it works. That is great looking. Also, they don't like the, the insects either, it seems. Yeah, the insects choose to go after me. It's like having Bushido style, but you can only do it once every however many hits. Already got that other skill back. Oh, you think you can escape? Well, as it turns out, you can. Against big monsters, though, that's going to be good. <laughs> Seems I'm not the only one who misses with direct attacks. Oh, we're one short then. Yep. should have known. I'm glad they give you another skill that wasn't in the demo straight away. Not that there was anything wrong with the, you know, the overheat and the nuclear blast. Oh, there was another one. Overkill, but worth it. Where's the skip button? B is the skip button now, okay. Or was that always a skip button? I used to just press the skip button. Ah, oh, yeah, there is more bones here as well. Right, so that's three zones with bones. And that is going to do it for this inaugural part of my Monster Hunter Cross series. It's probably going to be around for a while, as you may already be aware, my 4U series, which is still going on for the next few days. I've got to like 225 episodes, or will do by the time it ends. So I certainly hope you're going to enjoy this. I know I am. But I am going to do, go do those other gather quests now. You, you don't need to see me do those. If any new NPCs appear for me to talk to, outside of it being to get the cat recruited, I'll try and save that for on camera. Also maybe try and muck around with how to set up the online for future reference since Thaxar has got the game and a few other people I know who are in my 4U series as well have it. 
Well, you're lucky. You're lucky I have to go home now. To my planet. Because I'm an alien. Alright, there's some great Mackie stuff. I like how much faster that screen is. Right, quick check to make sure there's absolutely no sudden appearances, no cutscenes, etc. Whenever you're ready, here it comes. Get ready. Alright, we've got to talk to him to forward things on. That's fair enough. I don't need to speak to him to do the other quest, so. Alright. That's going to do it. Do we still have the gesture menu in the same place? Oh, we totally do. So where would be Prance? That's Prance. Yeah, okay, there we are. I should have started with that, but obviously. <laughs> Until next time, thanks very much for sticking around, and ta-ta for now.